In this supplementary video, we present a velocity vorticity domain decomposition method to simulate fluids in large domains. Our method gives computational and memory savings over existing Eulerian and Lagrangian methods. It also improves conditioning of obstacle handling with vortex methods. We start by decomposing the domain into a number of overlapping subdomains, each of which can be simulated using Navier-Stokes simulations on grids. The area around the sphere or vortex singularity simulation, the rest of the domain. The decomposition can also be dynamic, changing with the topology of the fluid. Our primary contribution is a novel algorithm to couple disparate methods of Eulerian Navier-Stokes simulations and vortex singularity simulations. The algorithm is divided into two steps. The first is an iterative algorithm to match velocities in overlapping subdomains by matching boundary fluxes. The second step transfers vorticity across subdomains by supplying correct velocity boundary conditions for the advection step in the simulation grids and by creating vortex particles in vortex subdomains. Our technique utilizes grid-based methods to model free surfaces and vortex singularity methods to model fluid interiors. As a result, single phase flows can be simulated in an infinite domain and obstacles and free surfaces can be modeled robustly. Therefore, our approach can take advantage of the best features from both Eulerian Navier-Stokes methods and vortex singularity methods. The use of vortex singularity methods in the interior also helps in conservation of vorticity. In addition, our method allows stable handling of surfaces and obstacles which would otherwise be poorly conditioned with vortex singularity methods. For scenarios with free surfaces, our method can permit scenes too large to fit in CPU caches with pure grid methods to become cache resident. This reduces bandwidth requirements, improving performance. This is possible because grid-based simulations are used in a thin banded region about the free surface and memory efficient vortex methods are used in the larger interior region of the fluid. In conclusion, we have presented a hybrid domain decomposition approach for modeling fluids in large-scale scenes with robust coupling for free surfaces and non-rigid obstacles. Our approach is capable of computational speedups and memory savings of several orders of magnitude. This is achieved thanks to a novel coupling algorithm that ensures consistent velocity and vorticity and reduces numerical dissipation. We also propose a sampling algorithm that creates vortex particles to represent a given velocity field. In addition, we propose efficient and robust methods to create vortex sheets that avoid conditioning issues.